Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with file uploads in JavaScript. Our viewer is trying to upload an image to Firebase Storage from a URL, but they're running into a snag. They need to convert that URL into a file or blob object, but the method they're using isn't quite working. Let's dive into the details and find a solution together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. To upload an image from a URL to Firebase Storage, we first need to convert that URL into a file or blob object. Let's start by fetching the image data. In this code, we use the fetch API to get the image from the URL. The response is then converted into a blob using the blob method. Now that we have the blob, we can create a file object. This is important because Firebase Storage requires a file object for uploads. Finally, we can upload the file object to Firebase Storage using the ref put method. Make sure to replace your storage ref with your actual storage reference. If you want to upload multiple files from a directory, you can loop through the URLs and repeat this process for each image. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get a file or blob from a URL in JavaScript, you can use a jQuery solution. This method is more compatible across different browsers. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To get a file or blob from a URL in JavaScript, make sure to include credentials in your fetch request. This is essential for accessing resources that require authentication. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To get a file or blob from a URL in JavaScript, you can use an asynchronous function. First, fetch the data from the URL, then convert it to a blob. Finally, you can write this blob to the clipboard. Make sure to handle errors properly. If something goes wrong during the fetch or clipboard write, log the error message. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To get a file or blob from a URL in JavaScript, if you have a home page in your package.json, you can create a local URL using url.createObjectURL. This allows you to display the file during runtime. If you don't have a home page in your package.json, you can still create an object URL directly using window.url.createObjectURL.
Lastly, there's a method using File Reader, but note that it doesn't work in Safari. This method reads the file as a data URL. Enjoy coding. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.